I would click the record button and then say, yo, what up? How's it going, man? Goes well yourself? I'm good. I'm very, very good. Uh, Shigaraki 2, one of the characters that I'm, I'm most interested in uh, in set 3. Um, here for a deck doctor. Hit me with the elevator pitch. Yeah, so out of set three, this is probably one of the first ones I kind of wanted to levitate to. So this is kind of my first iteration of it. I've played about a half a dozen games with it, and um, it feels kind of clunky to me. Um, mm -hmm. So I was just kind of looking for some optimization as well as a... Uh, I love the Fairy package. Um, I think my problem is I think there's just too many good ones out there. So I'm not really sure where to land on some of these attacks. Right. And then, um, yeah, so that's just kind of what I'm looking for for today, as well as um, different ideas, different ways of going about it, especially with on death. I think uh, death definitely gets a boost here on set three, so I'm all for it. I love that. I'm, uh, I am here for it. Let me, uh, let me do just a, a bit of looking. Um, so what is the, uh, what's the goal of this deck, Doctor? What do you need my help with? I uh, definitely would like to look at the attack lineups, see what your thoughts are. Um, kind of levitated towards a lot of the newer attacks coming out in set three, but like we said earlier, there's still plenty of good ones out there. So I don't know if on optimization, I threw ones down there in the side pile that I was kind of messing around with. Um, foundation wise, I was just look. Um, it just got, there's be times where it just gets clunky. There's a lot of two diffs mm -hmm. that play into it, so I don't know um, if that's just the way to go or if we can kind of optimize that. Other than that, I'm open to suggestions. I'm not really tied down to number of cards, what card, or whatnot. So I'm all here for just uh, suggestions. I love it. Let me do a. I'm about halfway done. Let me do just a smidge of looking again with a uh... interesting okay um... blast rush turbo where is that it's in your sideboard okay that's cool that card's neat. Um. Ooh, I think we have to have this one. <laughs> I know you can't see what I'm looking at, but <laughs> yeah, we'll get there, I promise. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> All these Shigaraki one cards are so cool. Got that over there. Do one last look for a card. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, it's because I just had the symbol. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. All right. So I uh, let's talk about the attacks first. Let's talk about the attacks first. Uh, Blue Flame Palm Strike, I added this before you said the word Fury. So, whoops. Does it say Fury? Oh my god, it does. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I added this before we said the word uh, Fury. Um, let's talk about the, the less memed cards. Gig uh, gigantic? Gig gigantic? Gigantic <laughs> Explosion? Yep. Big one? The big, big explosions? Yep. I think, I think that the new Fury meta is going to be four copies of detonation launcher four copies of explosion four copies of howitzer impact cyclone they're all five diffs that are amazing blocks one of them is a two high one of them is a two low one of them is a one mid uh and then any detonation launcher into explosion detonation launcher into cyclone is nuts it's so, so incredibly good 
Yep, I see it. Um, it's so incredibly crazy good. Uh, to the point where like that is what the new death control symbol looks like. Um, uh, I think like uh like Shigaraki one playing uh, explosion is going to be nuts. Um, I think, I think even. Not having explosion per se, or not having a detonation launcher, because your character, your character is detonation launcher, right? As long as something hits, um, is just good enough to just run explosion. It is a provisional promo, so you gotta order them. You gotta use the redemption points and, and get them, or whatever. But this card is very good. <laughs> this card's very good. Um, from there, the next attack that I want to talk about is this long lasting explosion. This card says that uh, it's a five mid for six. Which means that I get to hit you, right? Um, you don't want to waste your resources for your for to fight the five mid, which means that things like instant explosive release now just become more live and so on and so forth. Um, because like, if you're if you resort, okay, if you spend the resources on a long lasting explosion, then the next thing that is coming at you is going to be terrifying, such as cyclone. Cyclone is just going to be super scary, right? Instantly. Yeah. A, a six high for six that gets the momentum. Um, it's just it's just good. And then let's pretend right that they 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 tried to deal with the uh, the long lasting and they failed. Well now I get to just snag an additional momentum, and then this thing still gets to smack them up. You know. Yeah, exactly. Um, the next one that I had was corrosion lunge. Corrosion lunge is surprisingly good. Mm. It's just got really good words to interact with your character. Um, same thing with Touch of Decay. Same thing with Crow and Frog Takedown. This card is very non-committal as a poke. It does not have the Fury keyword. That's a little iffy, but there's that. The last card, and I think the character, he might be one of the characters that gets to play the best, is we do have Heroic Clash. This card in Shigaraki 1 is very, very cool. <laughs> it's a 3 mid for 7. And if you get to hit with something beforehand, Shigaraki turns this card on. So you get to discard the momentum. Yeah. After this attack resolves, both players remove all cards from their card pool and draw two cards. So it's just draw two off your character's face. I'll commit a foundation, draw my two cards, clear my card pool. This doesn't even necessarily have to be the first move that I play. It could be like the third move that I play. And then I clear my card pool and I have a fresh turn to start again. Um... I totally forgot about that. Yeah. That earlier really that actually is really good, especially trying to build out strings here because it can get very costly. And I see that you have like um uh league interview as kind of like other options as a sick death, but also to give you that plus two to be able to keep going. But yeah, being a four and one, no, I like it. This card also says that stun grenade uh, absolutely fucks. Um, yeah, I will clear all these cards. I'll clear these three cards out of my card pool. Stun grenade is now stun four. And I drew, I drew off of my stun grenade. I drew another, uh, I'll discard the top three and I found another heroic clash. I'll hit you with my stun grenade. I'll steal my momentum. I'll play heroic clash. I'll discard my momentum off a road clash. I'll clear my card. Like this is the first competitive deck. This is the first first combo deck that I'm trying. Is is this Shigaraki stun grenade heroic clash, and just seeing if I can just kill people on two, with death. I, yeah, I can't believe I missed that, but I, I love it. That thing's pretty nasty. Officially, you've given away. I've given away my spice. This is this is what I want to like. The first deck I want to just like, beat into the ground and figure out how to make this deck work. Stun grenade heroic clash. Please the spice is out. Yeah. Let's talk about the foundations, right? Um, Heroic Clash, I think, is a little meme-y. It's a one check. But I think this check, this card is very good. I think it's very, very good. Um, I think you already had things like Apathetic in your sideboard, which I think is, like, very influential. Um, Glamorous is pretty good. I think you need to make sure oh excuse me you need to make sure that your first moves hit and we just can't commit a bunch of resources we're not allowed to as soon as we start committing a bunch of resources um that means we don't get to trigger our character if we don't get to trigger our character we don't get to do stuff with our with our cards so that's exactly you're nailing the 
the point I was saying about Clumpy, because pretty much um, as soon as you start messing around with that first attack, it kind of screws up your whole entire game plan from there. So, Let's fight bad guys. Yep. Let's fight bad guys is a mandatory four of in your in your fury deck. Because not only is it plus two speed for every single move that you have, it's also now a face down foundation to fuel your character. And so you don't have to use, spend a face up resource. It's now just a face down resource and it guarantees the hit, right? Like it helps that speed. My sudden death assault is now a five minute for five that they get minus three to their check on. Yep, you were answering my, my second question was basically about speed because a lot of these were become vanilla. Right. And so the thought was maybe nervous habit, but being a 19 healther, I didn't feel comfortable really pushing the health button unless I was new, I can kill him. Yeah, let's bad guys is the answer. If you are a little baby coward, like most of my audience is, I'm not saying you are, and you don't want to play Heroic Clash, the safer, probably stronger version of this deck is probably just 4x capabilities. Um, I hit you with a move, I steal my momentum. I play capabilities, I commit, I discard my momentum, I give it plus two, plus five. That's just like, just a good exchange rate. Commit two foundations for plus two, plus five. Um, it just yeah. smacks them hard. Yeah, originally I was playing it as just a just a neat one tech in there. Um, yeah. It, it, but yeah, it that's all it is and everything if you can get it online. But at the same time, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I particular I personally am not a huge capabilities fan. I don't I don't like that that card so much. Um but like it is the safer version of trying to hit somebody with one massive move as opposed to string out and try and quote draw my entire deck. You know. Well, let's go the unsafe route. <laughs> I love it. Do it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so uh, what this means is, is uh, because of this heroic clash, what we have to do is, I think we have to take all of the four diffs and we have to just get, or the five diff, and we have to just get rid of them. Things like sudden death assault, I just don't think we're allowed to play because it's a five diff. Um, checking a one on any of these moves and then losing it is just like I, I'm not allowed to commit four resources to to play an attack. So, like, Sun Death Assault is gone, How It's Impact Cyclone is gone, but we, like, 4x Ignition, 4x Stun Grenade. Um, uh, we get to, to, is, what is Sludge? It says Ready Arrival Foundation, Ready Art Foundation. I don't hate this. I don't hate this as a, a quote, 5 diff. But you do have to ready one of their foundations as cost. Yeah. And then, like, explosion is like neat but once again it's just a five diff right like checking checking a one on your how to impact cyclone or your explosion just means like you lose the game right i'm not allowed to commit five resources to play these cards yeah um, i just lose and so like this is a very spooky way to play this character um and i think like we have to change a lot of stuff. Like, we're not allowed, even allowed to play, like, Excited for Blood. Like, that card's just gone. We just don't get to play it because it's a 3 diff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Battle Arena's cute, though. Look, no, it, it's, it's, like a, a it's a 3 like everybody else. I am. <laughs> um, okay, let me... Let's go back... We have to tear yeah. apart everything this, aren't we? <laughs> well, so this is an option, right? If we want to take and we want to look at like what you have here, right? Like the obvious choices, we obviously just take stun grenade and crack it up to a four of, right? Stun grenade inside of Shigaraki is insane because you can just commit your resource to get your momentum and then spend that momentum to clear the card out of your card pool. And now stun grenade has increased its uh, stun rating, right? And slash war yeah. is powerful. Like this card is so, so cracked. This card's so, so good. Um, I'm not a fan of instant explosive release unless you can guarantee make it hit, but this card is very good at doing that, right? So like yeah. having sudden death assault at a four of means that we get to play instant explosive release at a, uh, at like a, I think two is probably fine. Um, that's probably good, right? Um, I do think though, I think we need to put in some number of long lastings and some number of detonation launcher. And launcher is in there exclusively because it's a high block. 
which we just don't really have. Like we've got we've got stun grenade, that's it. Uh, this card easily gets to be like a three of. Um, how many tags we got now? Twenty six. Oh, that's not very many. Um, <laughs> Howitzer gets to be a three of. We might just drop this back down to a three of. Man, there's a lot of cool cards. <laughs> Why are there so many cool cards? Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> um, block zone. Low, low, low. How do you feel about sludge? It's just kind of a neat tech that I was trying. Um, when the momentum is just a, you know, that free stun too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the ready one variable foundation comes into play, especially when you're trying to press. Um, but we can easily cut it. It just gave me another low attack to kind of go with, um, mixing it up, but I'm not attached to any of these cards. Yeah, I think I want to cut it. Ex I'm going to put it in the sideboard. I think I want to cut it exclusively just because of room. I think it's neat. I think this is like, like this low block and this low block are just better, right? They're just like better overall cards. Yeah. Yeah, remove two, burn them for five is just like pretty good. Oh, yeah. And when this card makes stun grenade a little spicier. Woo. Yeah, cause cool. you start off and then all of a sudden you see how it kind of ripples and then Stun Grenade just becomes this stupidly awesome card at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I love Stun Grenade. You, yeah. yeah. And then with Conflict and nothing, if you have those two online, then things become a little more interesting. Yeah. Conflict of Ideologies. I'm so happy there's a four of in your deck, man. Um. Oh! What the? <laughs> All right, my uh, my last big thing is long lasting, right? Um, I feel like long lasting is necessary in order to make your howitzer implex impact. It also says that like long lasting into sudden death assault is like this is an eight damage move now. That also gets the three speed because of the minus three to the check. Probably just better than explosion because we don't want to lose because I think it's actually I think it's actually better than explosion strictly because we don't want to lose our foundation because they're gonna destroy two of our ready foundations and that means we don't get to commit them with, with Shigaraki yeah and gigantic usually was just my finisher at the end when I knew like because yeah because of the cost itself but yeah. I was just putting up something big yeah, let's go ahead and cut that and put in the triple long lasting. 22 attacks on our seven hand size character, I think is gonna be feel okay. And then we get to mess around with our foundation base. How are you feeling about uh, this number? I'm fine with that number. I was bouncing between 60 and 65. Okay. Um, so from here, let's look at difficulty. Uh, I actually want to go to Block Zone. I think Block Zone. Because the very first thing we have to do is we have to find four Let's Fight Bad Guys slots. Boop. Uh, Learning the Standards. Why is this card in your deck? It's probably more of a sideboard option. Um, I was just meaning it to be able to, since you're kind of a seven diff, um, how I was playing out was basically I was just trying to build out foundations and then be ready to really press when I was able to sculpt my hand. So it just kept me alive. I love that. Yeah, I think uh, I think it being the sideboard is is one hundred percent the choice. Um, I love first aid class. It does not need to be a four of. I think three is perfect. Um, forcing surrender. I mean, it's a good card, right? Um, it says that we're allowed to play cyclones. So we probably just have to keep it. Uh, arrogant disposition. How do you feel about that one? It's just stiff with a low block. That's all I was using it for. Love it. I think we're going to cut it for some different high blocks, question mark. Um, maybe not. It's also spam. Let's count. There's 20. 20 spam cards. We can cut it down just a little bit. But if we, like, cut both of these... We then get to like increase, like, hmm. 
Let me go look at other cards. Let me go look. Foundation, go. Um, Prehensile Trail, Snack Time, I think would be really good. Your attack gets plus one speed. Actually, I dig that. That's actually like a way better card than than uh, Arrogant Disposition. Snack Time says discard a card, it gets a speed and stun one, and then Deadlock Flip, draw a card. Incredible. Yeah. Do that or like mediator. But this deck's like just supposed to kill people. So. Yeah, that's. It, you can tell the deck's supposed to kill people because you got four latent skills, right? Like if we didn't want to try and kill people, we'd, we'd be playing four apathetics instead. Yeah. And that's what I was. I was messing around originally trying to go from a control base, but realizing that if you're just going to play it on death, you might as well just try to kill him as fast as possible. Yeah. I think this is probably where I would exist with this quote safe version of the deck first. Noted. Um, I do think heroic clash is really cool. And I think if you wanted to make a heroic clash build, I think that you have to start with it in mind from the ground up. Which is the reason we didn't like hard pivot. I think hard pivoting to Heroic Clash would be just like really, really hard, you know? Like the only thing that I know about the deck is we play four stun grenade for Heroic Clash. Everything else is all up for debate. I, I have no idea. No, and that's what I was slowly realizing as soon as you were talking about it. Like we're just going to have to tear it all apart and start over again, figure out where we're going to go with it. That's a lot. We also have four less bad guys. That card's also in there to four of. But everything else. <laughs> I'm not positive of. <laughs> um, well, that's why we test. That is why we test. Is there anything in here that you disagree with that you don't like? No, I, I like it. Okay. Interested in seeing the unsafe version, but we'll definitely uh, we'll visit that in a uh, different manner. For sure. But yeah. For sure. Well, this is a this I think is a, is a good starting point. Let me let me go check. Sixty six cards is is on theory with our twenty two attacks. Our block zones were a little light on the lows, but that's not terrible. At least for our first version, right? And this deck is just all all gas, no breaks. Like our entire goal is just to just swing, swing, swing. And so I think it is a it is okay as a first version. As we find things that we like and we don't like, we take those take those out. We start putting in the the control pieces. Yeah. Yeah. All right, buddy. Awesome. Let me uh, let me shoot you the list over, and I'm uh, I'm excited to I'm excited to hear how it does. Yeah. We'll do. Oh, I'll let you know how it goes, and we'll go from there. Perfect. 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 All right, buddy. I will uh, catch you next time. Okay. All right. Thanks. Peace.